Often teachers provide reading material for their students. And sometimes that reading material might be hard for them just to read, or some students prefer to have it read to them. With an iPad, you have great tools that you can use to be able to help your students have documents that can be read to them. I'm going to show you an app called Adobe Scan. And what it does is it will scan it, and it uses OCR to turn it into readable text. Now I'm in my Adobe Scan right now, and you will notice in the bottom right-hand corner, there is a camera, and I'm going to tap on the camera, and you're going to notice right away it's going to open up and try to scan a document. Now it's going to try to read it and get the best image possible, and you want to be as close as possible. Now once it gets one page, I have a second page. I'm going to go ahead and scan the second page as well. And now you're going to see, I tapped on that document where it had two. You're going to see I have the first page and then the second page right here. I am going to tap on Save PDF. And notice right now it's uploading it. It's going to try to recognize the text. And it wasn't a perfect scan. I'm more interested in it being very clear because it's going to give you a better image for the text to come through. Once you have your document scanned, you're going to tap on the little share button with the, the box sharing it out. And in the bottom here it says share a copy. I'm going to tap on share a copy. And I'm going to copy it to my iBooks. And now you're going to see in my iBooks I have a copy of this. And what we're going to do now so I need to show you. First of all, I'm going to show you the Adobe Scan. Do you see the light blue? It's a free app, and that's what I use so far. Next, in my settings, I'm going to need to make sure under General, Accessibility, and then Speech, that I have the Speak selection. And I'm going to go ahead and show you to turn it on and off. The Speak selection needs to be on. I'm going to go back to my iBook right here. Now let's talk about how you get uh, the iPad to read to you. Now there's sometimes a few little hand touch gestures. Um, like if I normally, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to hold it down on here. You want it to select some text. Now occasionally it selects the whole page. I had that before. I was trying to select something and it when I went to do it, it selected the whole page. You do not want that. That will not work. So I double tapped right there. Do you notice when I double tapped, it moved it in for me? I'm going to double tap. And now I'm going to go ahead and select. Notice it's letting me select various parts. And I'm going to go ahead. I have an option now to speak. Open the map you are link out of. Plus natural hazards are extreme, naturally occurring events. Notice it is reading to me. Um, there's different things you can change uh, with the voice and stuff like that with the speak selection. But it is reading to me. And if I was a student, it's also highlighted where I'm at so I can kind of follow along. This is a great tool to use with students and not just um, students with IEPs, but possibly any student who might benefit from having it read to them while they're also looking at the content. So hopefully this Take Two for Tech will help you transform learning with technology in your classroom.